Jesus said, the plan of the enemy is to strike the shepherd so that the sheep scatter. But in our own case, the Lord continues to strengthen our under shepherd. He continues to shield him and continues to help him. And so for that, we will give him thanks. Psalm 71 verse 6 says, But you have, but by you, I, that is by you, our pastor, Pastor Adetoyeshe David Ademola, has been upheld from birth. You are he who took him out of his mother's womb. Therefore, our praise, Father, shall be to you concerning our pastor. Say, Father, we lift up our voice this morning and we appreciate you for giving us an under shepherd after your own heart and for keeping him right from the time he came forth from his mother's womb till now and forever. Lift up your voice and give him thanks. Father, we praise you for our pastor. We do not take the gift of this precious man, your under shepherd. We don't take it for granted. Open your mouth and bless the Lord this morning. It is your responsibility and mine to give thanks to God for this exemplary father that the Lord has given unto us. We will honor the Lord. Our praise shall continually be of God concerning our pastor, Pastor Ade Toyeshe David Ademola. Open your mouth and bless the Lord this morning. Father, we praise you. Thank you, Daddy. In Jesus' name, we give him thanks and praise. Look at it, we're not done. If I were you, you will open your mouth and bless the Lord. First Timothy 2, the Bible says we are to give thanks for those in authority, those who he has put in authority over us. Only eternity will reveal to you the blessing of not having a pastor that eats the sheep, but that feeds the sheep. I live with this man. I'm his first congregant. He labors for you and me. We owe it to him to give God glory on his behalf. Verse 17 says, Oh God, you have taught our pastor, Pastor Adeto Yeshe David Ademla, from his youth. And to this day, he will declare your wondrous works. Now also when he is old and gray-headed, God will not forsake him until he declares his strength to generation and his power to everyone. Say, Father, according to your promise, we give you thanks that you will never forsake our, our pastor until his old age, good old age. He will live long and strong, declaring your power and your glory. Open your mouth, D.I.C., and pray this morning for our pastor. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, you will continue to uphold our pastor till he is old and gray-headed. Father, he will not die young. He will live long. He will renew his youth as the eagle. Thank you that you will not forsake him. Him. Our pastor will declare your strength to this generation and generation unborn. He will declare your power to everybody. Come on and pray this morning. This is the most important part of today's service. We give God thanks for our pastor. In Jesus' name we are prayed. We are not yet done. Verse 21 says, and God knows those who are praying, those who are not praying. As you honor our pastor by praying, I'm God, you will be visited with uncommon honor. Verse 21 says, you shall increase our pastor's greatness. Pastor will never know a better yesterday. The oil of anointing on his head will never run dry. Our pastor's garment will remain white. Shout hallelujah. You shall increase his greatness. I'll comfort him on every side. Open your mouth, D.I.C. Father, Lord, we thank you. You will increase our pastor's greatness. You will comfort him on every side. He will go from glory to glory to glory to glory. The anointing oil will not dry on his head. You will anoint him with fresh oil. You will exalt his horn as that of a unicorn. You will increase his greatness. You will comfort him on every side. You will fill his heart with joy. You will fill his mouth with laughter. Father, we give you glory. Come on and pray him this morning. Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Father Lord. We are not ungrateful, Daddy. Daddy, thank you for giving us an under shepherd after your own heart. You didn't give us one that is blind, 
Father, the Bible says that if a leader is blind, those that follow will fall into the ditch. But not so. You have blessed our pastor's eyes to see. You have blessed his ears to hear. And he is leading us right in your path. Father, we thank you. As he crosses this milestone, we thank you, Father Lord, for raising him to new realms of glory, new realms of honor, new realms in his apostolic grace. You extend his hand beyond the seas. You give our pastor dominion. You have given him the grace to start well. He will continue well. He will end well. Our pastor will receive his full reward. And Father, he will rejoice over every one of us. When that day comes, when he stands before you, Abba, to give account of the entire DIC and city and my family. His report to you, Daddy, shall be, they are all here. There is not a one missing. For this, Abba God, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you majesty and praise. And God's people said, Amen.